Welcome to Bloomer's Digest channel. Today let us read the second part of Five Detectives. The man handed over Srijit a packet of chocolate and went away. Srijit took the chocolate and kept it in his pocket. He saw the real old man coming in his direction from the other side. He also saw Inspector Velaidhan rushing out of a shop towards him. Fatima and Jesse were watching all this from afar. They got worried and rushed with Pablo towards the inspector. Pablo started barking and jumping on the inspector. The inspector was annoyed with the dog. Sri just saw it as a chance to run from there. He hid in a bush nearby. Inspector Velaidam ran towards the old man and caught him. Then he asked him to give the chocolate to him. The old man was puzzled. Inspector took the old man to the police station and locked him. While this was happening, the Fidey gathered in Jesse's garage. They opened the chocolate to find a small chit. They opened it and found a list of grocery items. They were very confused. Amuda, Sri, is it a code? Srijit, yes, it seems so. Amuda, I wonder if it is some kind of magic pen like the one you showed us. When we show it under a light, we can see the writing. Jesse, it could be. I still have his pen with me. I will go and get it at once. Jesse got the magic pen. They flashed the light on the paper and some words glowed on it. The message said, Tell number 3, Waxworks, Tuesday, 9 p.m., number 5. Arul, tomorrow is Tuesday, so the gang is meeting tomorrow. While they sat in the garden, Inspector Velaidam saw Srijit dressed as the old man. He was furious, then Srijit had to confess. He handed over the chit to the inspector. The inspector was glad to have found the chit, but was furious about their behavior. He warned them to stay away from the case. Srija's idea was to disguise himself as a wax statue, as it will be the most easy way to get all the information. That evening, all of them went to waxworks. They observed each wax statue and noted down details. While getting out of waxworks, Srijit unlocked one of the windows in the room. Tuesday night, he saw the inspector inside waxworks and had no way of getting in without being noticed. He was really sad and went home. In the morning, Srijit heard the news of Inspector Velaidam arresting the three robbers and also the diamond necklace. Everyone was upset that they didn't get the chance to solve the mystery. As he sat in Jesse's living room, they overheard Jesse's father on the call saying, Where is the real necklace? This news alarmed the Fidey. Fatima told everyone to rush to the city as some message will be passed regarding this. Within no time, the Fidey was in front of the old man's bench. Everyone sat at different places to keep an eye on the man. After an hour, a man came and sat next to the old man. The old man was busy drawing something on the ground with a stick. 
They noticed that Inspector Velaidam was observing at a distance and started following that man. But they waited for the old man to leave and went to see what he had drawn on the ground and it said waxworks. At waxworks, Srijit, Amuda, if you were to place the diamond necklace in this place, where would you place it? Amuda thought for a second and said, On the princess statue, she already wears so many jewels that this will go unnoticed. Everyone's eyes lit up. They walked straight to the princess statue. They saw the diamond necklace. Srijit carefully removed it and kept it in his pocket. As soon as they came out, there was a senior policeman standing. The children went straight to him and handed over the diamond necklace. They told him the whole story. They were appreciated for their courage and dedication towards their city. Thank you for watching this video.